Good afternoon. Four years ago today, I was a confused 14-year-old Zooming in the Spanish class. I didn't know what my place was in life, but I knew I was destined for so much more. On the topic of confusion, fast forward three years, and I was an AP Cup. <laughs> Entering this class, I was a confident 16-year-old overcoming anything in my way. After taking my second test in the course, I had landed a 40%. I brushed this off and kept moving forward. I locked in and worked as hard as possible, or so I thought. I ended up receiving a 42 on the retake. <laughs> to quote Thomas Jefferson, if you want something you've never had, be ready to do something you have never done. See, my entire life until then, I had made it through school coasting while maintaining the highest grades I could do by doing the bare minimum. I had to reinvent myself. The word that I would use to describe the following weeks is failure. To get to the point where I wanted to be, I had to fail every day, but it was those days that made me who I am. There were nights where I thought to myself that I could be out with my friends. There were also mornings when the bed felt too comfortable to leave. I had learned that in this new state of adversity, winning is done. It's very easy to give up. Whether it's snoozing that 5 a.m. alarm to even reevaluating your goals in life. What's hard is saying, yesterday I got nothing from working as hard as I could, but today I'm gonna to do the exact same thing and work even harder. The thought of giving up had entered my mind more times than I could ever count. I wanted to prove to the man above that he could knock me down seven times, but Aryan Singh will pick himself up eight. My biggest fear in life is not reaching my potential. There were days where I would skip my workout or even sleep in instead of hitting the books. The feeling I got from cheating myself was not that of comfort, but it was fear. I knew that there was someone out there outworking me, winning while I was asleep, and that fear drove me crazy. This fear drove me to break boundaries that I never knew I could. What I learned is that my fear is not a weakness, it is a strength. We all have fears in this world. I wanted God to throw every challenge or inconvenience towards me, just so he knew that I may feel weak in the moment, but I will overcome anything that comes my way with my chin up and chest out. If there's anything I hope that you all will retain from this speech, it is the lesson that it is okay to feel weak and vulnerable. The trick is to not stay weak, to learn from your failures and keep going forward. Now on to my thank yous. Elgin Academy. I will never forget the lessons I have learned in the past five years here. It is the lessons that I have learned in this community that helped shape me into the person I am today. And for that, I thank you. Augustia, you are the smartest person I've ever met. I thank you for teaching me to unapologetically be myself and be the person I truly am. Avir, you are the most compassionate and loving person I know. I thank you for teaching me to always look out for the people I love. Alaya, you are one of the funniest people I know. I thank you for teaching me that no matter how busy you are, it's how busy you are, there is always time for cookies and milk. To my parents, you made me into the man I am today. Even in my darkest moments, you have led me towards the light. Mommy and Papa, Thank you. And now for one of my closest friends and someone who will always wish that he can bench more than me, Jeremiah Walker. <laughs>